Hello, I'm Scott Deal. I'm the president of Maverick Boat Group. We build the Pathfinder Bay Boats. The name is synonymous with bay boats all over the country. And the usage of bay boats over the years has changed a bit. And we decided to address that change with the new 2500 Pathfinder Hybrid. We call it hybrid because it's good inside and it's good outside. Something that many people more and more seem to desire. One of the things that's unique about our company is pretty much all of the management of the company fish. We use the products all the time. Not only do we use them, but we observe what our customers are doing. And we notice a lot of times, certainly in this area and many others, people have spent a lot of time in the cockpit. Yes, they use the raised decks fore and aft, especially when they're fishing for trout or redfish or on the flats. But offshore, they tend to stay in the cockpit. So we decided to open the cockpit up on this boat quite a bit. If you look, this is a massive amount of room, what you would probably see in a large center console, for instance. So when you're anchored up and fishing out of the back of the boat, or maybe fishing in an inlet for snook in the, out of the back of the boat, you've got a lot more room. Room. Yes, you still have your, your aft deck. You can get up on it and you can throw plugs and what have you for, for trout and redfish, improve your sight lines and what have you, but you've got a lot more room to get around the rest of the people in the boat and to work. It's a smaller back deck, but it's loaded with features. As you can see on either side, there's a flip up seat arrangement, so I can just sit down and have a perfectly comfortable ride to the fishing grounds, pop it back in place. You can walk on it. It doesn't move very stable. You've got storage or multiple live well options on either side and this is your main 35 gallon live well right here. Below deck you've got a mechanical azuret access point right here to get to all your pumps and all of your mechanical things you need to service on occasion. And as I said another seat, another storage potential live well ladder, in this case power pole Rod holders can be multiple rod holders up the side for trolling. Under gunnel storage for fly rods, brushes, gaffs, other rods that you're using. Basically, a cockpit very similar to an offshore boat that you traditionally think of. As I said, the standard boat has a 35 gallon live well. If that's not enough live well for you, we've also got this leaning post live well, which really boosts your capacity. It has a removable backrest, which is out now, and obviously provides you a nice comfortable seat. The console itself is unique in that it has this insert, which could be color matched to your hull, uh, your hard top, or any other color combination that you want. This is a separate assembly. And as you can see, this is a, a glare knocking gray, so we don't get any reflection off of it. It's very attractive. You've got plenty of room for your electronics. We've got about everything you'd ever want to put in a boat of this type right here, as well as drink holders, which are important. And you've got great storage here underneath, which is gasketed to help keep it dry. As you can see, this particular 2500 hybrid has got one of the Maverick uh, Boat Company signature hardtops. The underside on this particular boat is hull matched to the gray along with the console. Uh, all of our hardtops feature storage fore and aft for your PFDs, anything else you want to put in there. Speakers are recessed and built in as are LED courtesy lights that downlight both this one in the aft and we've got them up front, plus spreader lights facing fore and aft to light up things at night. You can also uh, shine markers with them. We also have got the optional rod rack with what are called kingfish rod holders. For you kingfishermen, you need no explanation. But for kingfishing, people typically like to use this instead of an outrigger because you get that slash bite and hook up on your big spinning rods. One thing I, I particularly like about this console on the 2500 hybrid it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, we talked about the two-tone section aft where all the electronics are. The curves and the lines are great. It's got this Dutch door that so allows you to open and have full access to the inside of the console without having to move the cooler. So it's super easy to get to everything. You can literally get your hands to the back of the electronics. In addition, we have a sealed separate compartment down below deck where your batteries live. So they're not taking up other valuable storage space. That co compartment is covered with an acrylic lid so you can maintain visual contact with your batteries, check for corrosion and everything without having to go all the way down there. Should you need to pull the batteries out, you, move, you remove the cooler simply and easily, open the second part of the door, everything comes right out. Another nice feature associated with the console is this fiberglass cooler that we make ourselves. It was designed on CAD and cut on our CNC equipment at the factory in Fort Pierce. It has very, very good insulation. It's, it's got uh, finished fiberglass on both sides, easy to clean, and depending on which section of the cooler is two to three inches thick. So it keeps ice for days and days and days. 
because it's fiberglass, it's not going to break down in the sun like a plastic cooler will eventually. And uh, it's styled to fit the console and match the corresponding line. So it really looks great. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Plenty of room for all the drinks for everybody you'd want to bring on board. Well, we talked in terms of a smaller aft deck, and we did that for reasons allow you to fish a little easier offshore while at anchor in an inlet, for instance, or fish in the patchery somewhere, maybe the oil rigs. Um, but we certainly didn't shortchange you on deck space at all. Look at the size of this foredeck. It's absolutely massive. I'm six foot one, and there's plenty of room for me to get around. I could come up here and work the trolling motor. I can use a remote control from back here. I can fish from here if it's a little bit rougher, as can other people. It goes all the way across the boat, allows me to trans transit into the cockpit back here easily without having to bend over or to step up. So it makes for a very, very secure uh, bow fishing area for multiple, multiple anglers. Another unique feature of the 2500 hybrid, and another thing that makes it a hybrid, is this built-in fish box. It's not a little teeny fish box. It's a big fish box, plenty big to put in cobia, kingfish, dolphin, large groupers, anything that you catch. In addition, of course, trout and redfish, which everyone would expect. This is unique to the, to the Pathfinder brand. On this side, we've got even more storage. Personally, this is where I put my tackle boxes because they're easy to get to when I'm up on the bow. And of course we have rod storage with rod tubes and rod racks on both sides, as well as this massive, some might say obscenely large, under deck storage. It goes all the way forward and is literally all the way down to the hull. You can literally put people in here without any problem at all. So you'll never run out of storage space on the 2500. Great boat. One thing that I didn't talk about is the hull. This is a twin stepped hull. Not only is it a stepped hull, which which is more efficient, faster, burns less fuel, and rides better than a conventional V-Hull. It's also built with Varus. That's, that's our proprietary vacuum infusion resin system. The entire boat, the hull, the stringers, the transom, they're all done at the same time, so they're one monocot structure, as opposed to being a hand laminate with stringers that are glassed in separately, along with the transom. So this boat is built with the absolute latest state-of-the-art materials, state-of-the-art methodology, and the state-of-the-art designs. You really need to come check this one out. Well, I hope you like what you've seen about the 2500 Pathfinder Hybrid. It's a big boat, it's a fast boat, it's incredibly dry riding, it's got incredible amount of space, especially aft, and is really truly an exceptional product. I hope you feel that way. For more information on the 2500 Pathfinder Hybrid, go to www.pathfinderboats.com.